Hey, good evening everybody. Welcome to Soapbox Land, where I get on my soapbox and I slam the things that I see going on. Uh, this evening I want to get on my soapbox and I want to talk about restaurants. And um, I'm on my soapbox about restaurants because I have come to find, um, especially uh, when it comes to, let's say, chain restaurants, which are the majority of restaurants when you get into suburban areas, countrysides, um, you know, things like that. Not necessarily the um, small town, tourist small town places um, or, or anything like that. Or sometimes even when you get into the big cities, um, you, you, you get away from the idea of the um, chain restaurant, right? But for the places I've been living, um, in the suburbs and, and things like that, um, whether it's in Dallas, uh, and not Dallas downtown, Dallas proper, um, because there's some phenomenal restaurants that I've been in in, in Dallas proper that um, are top notch. And I'm really not, um, I'm really not talking about that. And I'm not on my soapbox about um, let's say a non-chain restaurant. But what I'm talking about here are the chain restaurants that, you know, the majority of us kind of go to that, that have pretty much predominantly become a sit down fast food um, service kind of place. Um, it, it's really unfortunate that um, the idea of service um, and these kind of restaurants, these chain restaurants, um, chain restaurants, uh, let's talk about Applebee's, Chili's, um, Red Robin, um, you know, uh, uh, Outback Steakhouse, Texas Roadhouse, uh, th these big chain restaurants, right? Um, I, I think that, um, that in this day and age, the chain restaurants should fail. Um, I, I find the service in the majority of these places, um, subpar and it's unfortunate that you find um, that uh, servers are dependent upon the the tips that they receive um, uh, uh, to, to make a living but the idea of service today especially in the train restaurants are um, subpar and their their agenda I mean they have scaled down all of these chain restaurants to uh, they're gonna give you one fork they're not even gonna give you a full setting of a knife a fork and a spoon right and and you say to yourself well why would they do that well they want to cut down on um, the the waiters work at the end of the evening they want to cut down on the amount of dishes that the dishwasher has to work all of these streamlined ideas of service that probably come from a corporate uh, uh, mandate, right? You know, the corporate agenda to minimize costs and maximize profit, as opposed to the idea of providing a, a, a pure, a pure restaurant service experience, right? And, and it's unfortunate because, um, their, their, their agenda, I mean, everybody's in business to make money. I mean, I'm not trying to kid myself or, or you, the public, about the agenda of making money. Everyone's in in, in the business um, to make money. But there's a point when, especially with these chain restaurants, where you streamline all of the, the, the service to minimize your expense and maximize your profit. And what suffers is the, the, the level of service, the, the level of of restaurant experience and and I guess I've come to the conclusion that you know in this day and age um, you know the, the the chain restaurant isn't what it was 20 years ago Olive Garden um, you know um, you know these kind of restaurants it, 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 the experience of dining out isn't what it was 20 or 30 years ago I mean when I was in college and even in high school, I worked as a waiter. I worked as a busboy. I worked as a dish boy. I worked as an expediter. I worked as a pasta maker. Uh, you know, the, 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 the most interesting job I had when I was a waiter was as a pasta maker and an expediter at a small private 
restaurant in the suburbs of Chicago, um, a small Italian restaurant. And I appreciate um, the owners um, who were kind enough to give me a job at a young age, were kind enough to train me um, on how to make pasta fresh and how to um, expedite a, a, um, a kitchen uh, counter. And, and I learned valuable skills in, 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 in doing that. Uh, I, would, I would stress that, again, it was a small restaurant, right? Uh, 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 this, this idea of the mom and pop business idea, uh, a small restaurant, not a chain restaurant. Um, I did work in chain restaurants as well. I, I've, I've worked at Olive Garden, I've worked at um, all kinds of chain restaurants. Um, and, and I don't mean to name drop these, these chains, but the kind of service, the cleanliness, the, the, what has occurred as far as how uh, I would serve a guest and what is expected of service today. It, it, there's a huge difference. There's a huge difference in the cleanliness of restaurants. There's a huge difference in people who go to restaurants, especially those who go to chain restaurants. And and I guess my conclusion here is don't go to a chain restaurant. You know, um, if you're looking for a true dining experience, you're not going to have that at a chain restaurant. And you should not have an expectation of um, dining or restaurant dining, which an expectation 20, 30 years ago would be different than the expectation today because the expectation today, especially with these chain restaurants, is that you are essentially getting a McDonald's, a, a, uh, a Burger King, a Wendy's, a, a, a Dairy Queen um, a kind of service where, yeah, the, the kitchen might make your fruit a little fresher, although even at those fast food restaurants, um, they don't even make that food ready to go. They make it on demand. Um, so, you know, the, the idea of it being fast food is, 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 is questionable as well. Um, but, you know, in these chain restaurants, you know, you, you get essentially what you're getting at a fast food restaurant. And the chain restaurants are now the concept of fast food restaurants. And, you know, you're paying a, um, an inflated price. And I say it's inflated and I understand, I understand the economics. I don't need a, a lecture or a dissertation or a research study on um, how restaurants make their money. I'm, I'm, I'm quite clear as to how restaurants make their money. Um, but I would argue that the, the, the chain restaurant has become so streamlined that it has minimized the restaurant experience. And again, it, from the service to the kitchens to all of that stuff down to the people who go to restaurants. I mean, I, I can't understand. Uh, I, I understand you may in this day and age think it's okay to bring your child to a restaurant. Um, but if your child is an unruly child screaming and hollering or you're bringing an infant into a restaurant, I think that is the most inconsiderate thing you can do to your fellow citizens or restaurant goers. I mean, why would you do that? And again, it's a chain restaurant, right? This isn't a four star white cloth um, tabletop restaurant, right? This is a chain restaurant. Um, and, and so I, I don't know that you know this isn't you know uh, uh, a four-star tabletop type restaurant this is you know um, a, a quick um, chain place that invites all kinds of people who would go to a fast food restaurant um, like McDonald's or anything else I mean people come to these restaurants dressed in pajamas sweatpants uh, flip-flops, hair bonnets. I mean, who who does that? How is that? You know, you're bringing your, your screaming children and your infants so that other people can endure your child's malbehavior. I mean, what, what? And then you expect other people to respect you and your children. 
I, I mean, the, the arrogance and self-centeredness of that is beyond reproach at this point. There's, there's, there's no, I mean, you have no, um, you have no idea how many people, especially those whom are going to chain restaurants, the, the, the idea and lack of respect for the other people who are dining, um, it is unbelievable. And you as a parent should know what your child's behavior is. You as a parent should know whether or not, um, you sitting down and how your child behaves, whether or not that's going to offend other people who are dining. Quite frankly, the attitude is you don't care. And so why should anybody care about you? I mean, seriously, why should anybody care about you? You don't care about them and their dining experience or their desire to have a decent meal. So why should anybody care about you? Seriously, why should anybody care about you? Why should anybody care if, if they bump you or bump your cradle or your, your booster seat? Why should they care if they, 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 why should anybody care about any of your, 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 um, your values or your respect? Why should they care? You don't care. So why should they care? Why should I care? Why should I care one iota about you and your family since you can't control your children while I'm dining? Why should I care? Why should I hold a door open for you and your family? Why should I do anything gracious other than I'm a gracious person who's willing to do that? But inside my mind and inside my heart, I feel like, why am I doing this? I'm the fool. I am the fool. And the more and more people who feel like, well, I'm a fool because, you know, here I am going out of my way to be kind to them and they can't even control their child in a restaurant. And they should know better. You should know what your child's behavior is. So you should know quite clearly if you should be bringing that child into a restaurant. And if your child is happened to having a bad day, you know what? Instead of making the entire restaurant endure your child's behavior, you need to leave. You need to leave. You need to not come into rest. People need to not come, whether it's fast food, uh, 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 McDonald's, or whether it's fast food chain restaurants, you don't go into public wearing sleeping pants and hair bonnets and sweatpants and everything else. My, I, I just, I, it's a lack of respect and a lack of pride. And it's amazing how many people in this, in this country, in this day and age, have no respect and no pride for themselves. It's unfortunate. I'm, I'm, I'm truly um, disheartened by the, the denigration of societal standards today and, and a lack of respect for your fellow citizen. And the real question is, how do you get it back? Like, how do you get back to a, a, a point where people actually care about their citizens and care about their dining experience in addition to their own dining experience? How do you get back to a time uh, uh, or a place in human decency where you respect your fellow human being? How do you get there? Because I have no idea at this point. And, and the current state of things eats away at your, at one's desire to be gracious to another. Because that is what I feel is happening. It eats away at my desire to be gracious. And, and I don't want to be that way. So the result of it is I no longer will go to chain restaurants. I have no desire to go to them anymore. Um, I've had my fill of them. And you know, it's not that I go to them often. I, I, I don't like to go out to eat as it is um, because I would much rather spend money on my significant other going shopping or buying something that is gonna last for a while as opposed to spending a hundred or hundred and fifty dollars on a night out that I'm gonna shit out in less than 24 hours to have experiences of people um, dressed like sh like crap and and children running around screaming and hollering and service that is poor and and no utensils or only one utensil to eat like I'm some sort of uncivilized baboon uh, I, I mean and, and then pay a, a exorbitant price for this um, it's unfortunate um, you know, I, I, you know, the dining experience today, um, if you want a dining experience, um, you must plan on spending well over $150, uh, more like 200 to $300 for the proper kind of service 
if you want a true dining experience. But to me, Red Robin, all of these chain restaurants are no different than going to a buffet at Golden Corral. Uh, it, to me, there's no difference in all of it. There's no delineation or no distinction between going to Applebee's and going to, um, to, to, to Golden Corral or going to McDonald's and going to Golden Corral. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's really unfortunate that this is the demise of the restaurant industry. And that's what I'm on my soapbox about the demise of the restaurant industry from the 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 restaurant perspective um, down to the the restaurant goer it, it is all diminished as far as standards and that's what I'm on my soapbox about have a good night